Boundaries. In this video, I'm going to talk about boundaries. You know, most people don't have them. Most people don't even know how to create them. And they don't know the difference between a boundary and a preference. So let's talk about that in this video and why that matters to you and why if you don't have good boundaries, if you put up a lot of bullshit in your relationship, it's probably going to tank and then she's going to blame you for it. The first thing when a guy says, hey, yeah, I didn't have any boundaries in my relationship. Like I'll get on a call with him and say, I didn't have any boundaries in my relationship. I just gave her whatever she wanted because I wanted her to be happy. And I just, I'm just a sacrificing, I'm a giving type of guy. I got a lot of love to give, so I just give her whatever, whatever she wanted. Then he finds out that like six, seven years later, she's completely disrespecting him. She's treating him like a piece of shit and she's cheating on him with his best friend down the street. And so, and that's not even the worst story I've heard. I've heard insane stories from the thousands of guys I've talked to over the years. And the biggest thing is, is that he doesn't hold these boundaries. He says, Ed, tell me what my boundaries should be. And I'm like, motherfucker, I can't tell you what your boundaries are. That's like me telling you how to live your life. No, your boundaries come from deciding what it is you want. Like, what is it that you want in your life? For instance, if I want to go to the gym and work out, get very muscular, I'm going to have to set some boundaries, right? In other words, I have to go to the gym. So if my wife is calling me all the time and sabotaging my progress in the gym by not letting me go or she gets insecure about me going to the gym because she doesn't want me looking at other women, which is preposterous, right? I wouldn't be in a relationship with her if I was looking at other women. And so you have to set some boundaries. One in this case is no, I'm going to the gym on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be there for an hour and a half or whatever. That's my boundary. And if she tries to sabotage my, what I want in my life, I have to set more boundaries. Like, no, you can't tell me you can't tell me to do things just because you're insecure. I'm gonna live my life, I'm a grown ass man. I am in control of myself and my sexuality. And I don't need anything from anybody. I am whole and complete in and of myself. And so that would be an example of a boundary. Or if she's accusing you of cheating on her all the time, you could say, look, I don't appreciate you accusing me of cheating on you all the time. I am here, this is your issue you need to solve. Now I can help you be secure about it, but I can't solve the whole within you. This is something that you're gonna to have to take full ownership of. I can love you, but I can't fix you. And so you have to set that boundary. Like you can't accuse me of this. You can't restrict how I am and you can't restrict where I'm going, who I'm talking to. It's not appropriate. Now on the flip side, I'm not going to put myself in a situation to be untrustable, right? I'm not going to go out there and start flirting with other women in front of my woman. That would be insane and it would be unethical and it would be a form of cheating. So I'm not going to do that. I'm also not going to put myself in situations where she would have to wonder, that doesn't mean I'm going to restrict how I am and where I'm going and what I'm doing, but I'm not going to do something like get super drunk and go to a strip club, right? That would not elicit trust from my woman. And so boundaries are this thing that you have to, you have to get clear on. And you're going to get clear on these boundaries by what it is that you want in your life and how you want to operate. Like for me, a big boundary is there's no toxic behavior in my house. And, I def and you have to define that. Like what is toxic behavior? Toxic behavior is any kind of manipulation, right? Guilting, shaming, threatening, um, belittling, interrogating, right? You felt this before if you've ever been interrogated. They just keep asking you questions. What about this? Well, why'd you do this? Why'd you? And they're looking for an end so they can get at you, right? And also, I even, I even call toxic behavior tone of voice. Just a toxic energy coming off of the person coming at you. Like, I don't tolerate any of that in my household. And I just have a zero tolerance for any kind of bullshit behavior like this. And I believe, fully believe that because I've walked through hell in these areas that I have earned the right to go to heaven. And that's the case for a lot of these things in a relationship where you have to be willing to weather the storm and say no and not allow these type of things before you'll ever, and you'll be tested over and over and over again before this kind of woman will show up in your life. Why? Because a conscious woman needs a conscious man, a guy who can lead and hold his own and hold the container of his own strength and hold her as well. Now, with that being said, she'll probably have a lot of her own issues dealt with, but at the same time, she's not gonna get with a guy that she has to train. Why should she? That's ridiculous. So a conscious woman is gonna get with a conscious guy. And if you can't do this yourself, you don't deserve to be with that kind of woman. Yeah, she's not gonna bring these problems into your life, but at the same time, since you have to deal with your own stuff, you're gonna be insecure around her. The tables will flip. You'll be the insecure one. You'll be the one chasing after. You'll be the one chasing after all her love and validation all the time. And that's not cool on her. She doesn't want to do that. She wants a strong man who can stand on his own. She doesn't want to be your mom and have to baby you. And so for her, that would be her boundaries. Another boundary that I have is we're going to talk about things rationally. I don't mind 
people getting upset in my house. They can yell, scream, holler, whatever the fuck they want. But they can't direct it at me in a way that's designed to hurt me. And you all know this. If you tapped into your intuition, you can feel when someone's trying to hurt you. And when that happens, game over. We're not playing that game. I'm usually of the opinion of, if you do something, you do make a mistake on this once, I'll let it slide. But if you do it again, then it becomes a pattern. I know this is how you operate, and now I'm gonna definitely cut that shit down. I, at one point, I had to kill a lot of my friends. Not kill them off, but I kill a lot of those friendships off. I had to kill all those friendships off, and I was very alone for a while. I didn't have good friends. But what that did is it opened up space for other people who could appreciate that. And because I'm, a, I'm the same, of the same caliber as them, they appreciated my presence as well. If you, if you have a boundary and you're with a manipulator, they're gonna find ways to get around it. So heavy manipulators are, are kind of like bullies, right? You keep thinking the bully's gonna learn a lesson. If we just punch him in the nose, he'll learn his lesson. No, he doesn't learn his lesson. He knows what he's doing. He just knows he can't do it to you, so he'll just go to the next weak person. And it's not your job to teach the bully a lesson. It's your job to protect yourself. And so if you're with a woman who's highly manipulative, then you're gonna find this to be the case. And when you have a boundary, you're gonna find, you're gonna find that she's finding all kinds of ways to get around it. All kinds of ways to get around your boundary and to do what she wants. And just know that if this is happening in a relationship, you're not in a relationship. You're in a power control game and she is, has no interest at all of having some sort of love and understanding with you. So there's no point in even trying to have a relationship with this person. You might as well just eject. But it can be hard because you might love them. You might think it's more complicated than that. And really it isn't. I mean, a lot of guys come to me because they want some simple solutions that are supposedly complicated problems. Now, a healthy relationship, you set the boundary, and the person's gonna be like, oh man, yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, totally, I'll respect that. And then you won't have to worry about it. You won't have to hear about it again, unless maybe there's, they forgot or something, right? And so if you, if you don't hold your boundaries over time and the person starts whittling them away and your woman is trying to whittle your boundaries away all the time, just realize you might be in a manipulative relationship. You should get really good at understanding manipulation and starting to knock that shit down at every turn. And two, you should get really clear on what your boundaries are. Like you should take a pen and paper and write them down. Like what is it that I want? and Where do I want to go with my life? Usually where you want to go with your life is going to dictate a lot of your boundaries. If I've got this business, genuine attraction that I'm trying to build and run and help as many guys as humanly possible on this earth have great and fulfilling relationships, then that means it's gonna take a certain amount of time and effort from me. I'm gonna to have to set boundaries on my schedule and how I operate and where my attention and energy goes. I can't be watching the news, I can't be playing video games, I can't be drinking all the time, I can't be watching porn, I can't be screwing around with dumb shit. I have to maximize my time around my family, around my wife, around my business, and then, and then time for myself in order to recharge and also my time with God. If I don't have these things dialed in and like operating in a highly effective manner, this shit don't fly. Like this business doesn't run. There's a lot on the line here. Like you watching this video, there's a lot on the line and I respect that. You're a powerful dude watching this or you aspire to become a powerful dude. And so I honor that. I honor the fact that you're watching this video and I do my best to help you out as much as I can. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you, brother. If it is, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.